we are gonna solve some one-step inequalities today and what you should do is you should take out some notes <laughs> take some notes people I say that all the time and let's go math with the speed math with the speed there's a thousand other places that you'd rather be but you're watching math with Miss B. <laughs> How to solve one step inequalities? Solve like an equation. When solving an inequality, if you multiply or divide by a negative, flip the symbol. Very important. Major key. Graphing inequalities. So let's say you have symbols. The name of the symbols less than greater less than or equal to greater than greater than or equal to indicator when we're graphing we want to indicate as so less than open circles to the left less than or equal to closed circle to the left greater than open circle to the right greater than or equal to closed circle to the right okay when I'm graphing inequalities, I have n is greater than zero. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna set up a little number line as like so like that, like NT tab say, I'm gonna put an open circle at zero and I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to shade to the right. Easy, right? So let's say I have P is greater than or equal to negative two. I'm gonna do the same thing. I've set my number line. I'm gonna find negative two. I'm gonna pay attention to the symbol. This one has a little line under it. So that means my circle is closed and it's greater than, so we're gonna go to the right. R is greater than or equal to six. I'm gonna look at my number line. I'm gonna find six. This one is a closed circle because it has a little line under it. And then I have X is less than 12. I'm gonna find 12 on the number line and I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to open circle because there's no line right and it's less than so that means that it's gonna go ahead and go to the to the left to the left okay that will be good mm. so now we're gonna you should try some on your own now that you know what's up now that you know what's good okay so you're gonna do X is greater than or equal to negative 14 we're gonna find negative 14 on the number line this one is a closed circle because there's a line under it. And we're gonna shade, ooh, very good. Okay, let's say we have B is less than negative 10. What kind of, now you gotta stop, pause and think. What kind of symbol should we use for a less than? Should it be an open symbol, I mean, yeah, open circle or a closed circle? If you said open, you're correct. Okay, um, three, negative five is less than or equal to M. Now this one is a little bit tricky, okay? What we're going to look at is we're gonna notice that the letter is not on the same side as it usually is, okay? Um, so we, what, what, what I usually do is I, in my head, flip it around, okay? So we're gonna find the five on the number line, which the negative five, we're gonna decide what's, what symbol, open or closed, think about it. Did you say closed? Very good, okay? Now the direction, when the letter, the variable, excuse me, is on the other side, you wanna do the opposite of what you, it looks like you should do. So this looks like a less than, but it's actually a greater than because it's flipped. So that means that we should go ahead and we should shade to the right. Okay, because the proper way to read that inequality is actually m is greater than or equal to negative five. You see me, you see me? Okay, so then I have example number four also done backwards. So I want you to think about everything that I just said for example number three, and I want you to see if you could graph this one on your own. No help from me. Okay, open circle or closed circle? Closed circle, left or right? 
right. Very good. So if you flipped it around in your head, you should have V is greater than or equal to negative three. That's what you should have been thinking. Okay, okay, okay. Um, solve the inequality. Okay, now that you know how to graph, now we can actually move on to solving inequalities. Okay, so we have one plus R is greater than or equal to four. So um, we're gonna get rid of that negative one. How do I get rid of that negative one? Add one, good. So R is greater than five. Look at my little number line, gonna find five. What kind of circle is that? A closed circle, and we're gonna go to the right. You see how easy that was? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So for the next one, I have n minus six is less than or equal to negative 14. I need to get rid of that minus six. How do I get rid of a minus six? Did you say add? You would be correct. So I'm gonna get n is less than or equal to eight. And so now I would look at my number line. I would find eight. Da -da 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 -da. And then I would push it all the way to the left, to the left. That's totally off key. Everything you own in the box to the left, in the closet. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> negative 12 is greater than x plus, or x minus five, sorry. So I gotta get x by itself. What's next to the x that I need to get rid of? Did you say the minus five? You're correct. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so add five to both sides. And then that is going to go ahead and give me negative 7 is greater than x. But remember, the x is on the other side, so you have to think about this one. We're going to look at We flip it around. x is less than negative 7. Okay? So I find negative 7 on my number line. Open circle or closed circle? Open circle. Left or right? Left. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, next one. N plus 9 is greater than 9. What you gonna do? Did you say subtract 9? Scholar! Sorry. <laughs> N is greater than 0 because 9 minus 9 is 0. I'm gonna go ahead and find my 0. It's okay for your answer to be 0. 0 is a number 2. It wants some play. Okay, so open, close, circle, close, circle. It's definitely gonna be an open circle. Left or right? Honey, very good. <laughs> okay. Um, you should do these two by yourself. I feel like you can. So pause the video and you got this before we start doing the division and multiplication ones. Mm -hmm. This is me dancing, hoping that you're doing it on your own. It's me dancing, hoping you're doing it on your own. Okay. Plus six plus six. 14 is greater than n, but n is flipped, right? So you gotta make sure you flip it around. n is less than 14. Remember, you move the variable, flip the symbol, move the, the number. Okay, there's our little number line. Find 14. Close circle because there's an equal to there. And we're gonna go to the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box, to the left. In the closet, that's my stuff. If I bought it, baby, please don't touch. Sorry, so three plus V is less than nine. If you're talking that mess, that's fine. Subtract three from both sides. Walk and tuck at the same time and bring down V is less than six. I am such a fool. I can't remember the words. <laughs> okay, open circle or closed circle? Not you got me twisted. You must not know about me. Left or right? Left. I can have all your hair in a minute. Matter of fact, we'll be here in a minute, baby. <laughs> Flipping an inequality symbol. Why do we flip inequality symbols? So let's talk about something. Three is greater than one. That is a true statement, right guys? 
Okay, let's say I multiplied both sides of that equation by negative one, or that inequality by negative one, which is a fair thing for me to do in math if I'm keeping it balanced on both sides, right? So I'm multiplying both things by negative one. So neg three times negative one is gonna give me negative three, and one times negative one is gonna give me negative one. Is that a true statement? It is false. Negative three is not greater than negative one. So how do I make that statement true? Because I did something that was mathematically sound, but my aunt, my, the way I'm writing my answer is not coming. That's why you flip the symbol. Because negative three being less than negative one makes it true. Ta-da! Okay, let us talk about, this is now a true statement, so we're good. Let us talk about zero being greater than or equal to negative one. True statement, zero is in fact greater than or equal to negative one. Now, what if I multiply both sides by negative one, which is something I can do in math. That is fair. That is the multiplicative property of equality. Multiply, multi, you know. <laughs> and so I would get zero still on one side because negative one times zero is zero. And I would get negative one times negative one on the other side, which is positive one. So now my statement says zero is greater than or equal to one. That is not true. It is false. So to make it a true statement, I must flip the symbol. Zero is less than or equal to one. Now it is true. Okay? Hello? That's what you gotta know. This is why we flip the symbol. When you wonder why we make up these weird, weird, blah, 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 weird rules in math, they have a reason. What was the reason? This is the reason. Okay, so solving inequality. So I have 3n is greater than 3. To get n by itself is a one-step equation, right? I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. n is greater than 1. Open circle or closed circle? Open. Left or right? Right. Number 8. Wait for it. To get n by itself, I have to divide by negative 4. If I do it on one side, I do it on the other side, correct? Did you multiply or divide by a negative? Yes, you did. So that means I have to flip my symbol to make sure that the inequality is, remains true. So now, instead of saying n is less than, it's going to be n is greater than. So 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. Open circle or closed circle? Closed circle. Left or right? Right. Don't forget to flip your symbol because that's what's going to get you. Don't let it get you. Okay. Um, 32 is less than or equal to negative 16p. I need to get p by itself. What am I going to do to get p by itself? Divide by negative 16. You smart equals particles. Did I multiply or divide by negative? Yes. So what does that mean that I need to do? I can't hear you. Flip that symbol. OK, good. So negative 2 is less than or equal to p. But remember, we don't like the p to be on that side of the equation, right? We like the p to be on the other side of the equation because it helps me graph flawlessly. Right, so we're going to switch the p and the negative 2, and then we're going to flip the symbol again. Oh my gosh, so much flipping. Are we doing gymnastics? Maybe it's math gymnastics. Open circle or closed circle? Open. Okay. I mean closed. What am I saying? And then left or right? Right. Great. Okay, 5x is greater than 0. Divide by 5, divide by 5. Did you multiply or divide by a negative? No, you didn't. So do you have to flip the symbol? No, you don't. Only when you multiply or divide by a negative. So look how easy this problem is. Open circle or closed circle? Open circle. Left or right? Okay. Look, y'all are smart equals. OK. Um, you should try these by yourself. I do my little dance. Do a little dance. All right, I was going to sing the rest of that song, but I'm not. Ooh. <laughs> uh, 
Um, what am I saying or doing or thinking? Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to multiply by five because that's how you cancel out division with multiplication. Do it on one side. Got to do it on the other. M is greater than negative 25. Now, here's the common mistake. You multiply by negative on just one side. You do not flip the symbol. You have to multiply or divide by negative on both sides. D. Dose. Okay? If you don't do it on both sides, it does not count. It has to be on both sides. So that orange 5 is positive. If that orange 5 had been negative, then that would you would have flipped your symbol, but no. So open circle or closed circle? Open. Left or right? Right. OK, last but not least, again, do it by yourself. Pause the video. Multiply by negative 3. Did you multiply and divide by negative on both sides? Yes! So what does that mean? R, flip the symbol, is less than negative 18. Did you flip your symbol? You better have. Open circle or closed circle? Left or right? Left. Less than is left. That's why I teach my students, less than is left than. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I made it one. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's the end of the lesson on one step inequalities. Um, what do I always say? I always say go back to the video, see if you could do the examples without my help. Um, tell somebody, like, share, subscribe. Tell your mama, tell your auntie, tell your sister, tell her brother's best friend's cousin, uncle, that you like this channel for the math. And, um, you know, I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye. <laughs>